Jonathan Mitchell standing by. Tonight, as we've been reporting, Jonathan, the Commerce Commission uh, comes out swinging, really, against the Fairfax and NZ meme merger. This is a strong preliminary decision. That's right. We've seen uh, the Commerce Commission again publicly flexing its muscles. We saw it initially with the Caltex Z Energy merger. It's certainly not shying away behind the scenes and acting low key. It's looking like a tough, assertive regulator and in the public eye. It broke new ground essentially with the Sky and Vodafone merger where it asked in the open letter and it raised competition fears and things about pricing. Uh, today with Fairfax and NZME it said it's not satisfied or inclined to approve the merger in its current form given the power the one company might have over newspapers, radio and news websites. Uh, certainly this gives a clear message uh, to businesses that the Commerce Commission is willing to act tough and speak its mind. As a result, uh, shares in NZME fell uh, more than 20% today, ending at 50 cents each. Gosh. Okay. Um, you've got some stuff from Statistics New Zealand about the impact of inflation on the elderly and beneficiaries. Now, the curious thing for me is I haven't seen any of this and I I've been otherwise engaged, but there isn't any inflation, is there? So what's this about? Well, this is certainly um, looking at what effects inflation has over the past decade on various right. age you. groups. So yep. we're looking at retired people and beneficiaries in particular. Um, retired people spend more on items that have risen sharply, such as insurance, uh, local council rates and energy bills. Higher rents affected beneficiaries uh, the hardest. They also spent more on other things like cigarettes and alcohol. Right, highest, so which have accommodation in inflation, which, which, is, uh, which is just obviously been widely reporting, is really crippling people on low incomes, obviously. Rampant at the moment too with the, with the rampant house prices. Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, um, some interesting points to come out of this data. Uh, Superannuitants costs increased 19% over roughly the past decade and beneficiaries by 16%. This can Pairs with the with the average household increase of 13 percent, so certainly above the average. Uh, what happened in the markets today, Jonathan? On the eve of the U.S. election, my guess is <laughs> not much, not much trading. Well, that's right. You're, you're pretty spot on there. Certainly, global markets have a positive tone about them. Yes, on the eve as we get into uh, the final few hours. Uh, the top 50 index um, had quite a solid finish yesterday. You'll remember 2.5%. Mm. That's uh, right. Fairly muted today, uh, just up 22 points to 6894. And the dollar is holding steady, trading at 73.3 US cents and just over 95 Australian. So we'll do Thank it all tomorrow, John. Yeah, we will. I look forward to that. Um, thanks, Jonathan. Really appreciate it. Jonathan Mitchell joining us live from Wellington.